My wife asked me if I would care to bring her mother out for a spin of fishing of a Sunday afternoon. Well, I hadn't seen the old girl in over 20 years. And I was some anxious to see just how she was getting on. But I was a bit fearful because that last time I remembered the old girl, she was working her way up in tonnage. <laughs> well, I don't mind tonnage in a woman. There's shade in the summer and warmth in the winter. <laughs> but when they start working their way up in tonnage, that is where you get your problems. Because the more they turn, the more they talk. <laughs> and so you can imagine how my heart jumped right up into my throat when I saw the car that that old lady was driving in. It was all slanted over onto the driver's <laughs> side. Even after she got out of the car. Well, we had to winch her aboard. <laughs> we lowered her real easy. We didn't want a stove in the bottom. <laughs> and we set her down right in the middle because we didn't want to spend the rest of the day going around in circles. <laughs> And we was no more than five minutes offshore when that old lady started in. You couldn't squeeze a word in edgewise with a shoe horn. <laughs> but we figured we knew how we could fix her. Slow her down a bit. So we headed for Otter Ledge. Now, Otter Ledge is good fishing ground. And it's nice because the tide sets you one way and the swell sets you t'other, and you don't have to anchor to nothing. You end up at the same place at the end of the day as you started in the beginning. And as you can imagine, it's very choppy. <laughs> we put first one rail under, then t'other, and that seemed to make her a little bit more thoughtful, you might say. <laughs> well, she got more and more quiet. Then she commenced to breathe quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> and she got quite peaked and a little green and then she let out a, a low moan. Uh. <laughs> and she flopped right over in the bilge. <laughs> well, we figured she knew best. <laughs> so we kept a fishing and... <laughs> Soon we'd catch a fish, we'd unhook it and slap it right down in the bill there. <laughs> well, along toward the end of the afternoon, that old lady heaved up over the starboard rail. We had to rush to port in order to remain upright. <laughs> And at just that moment, a large wave come along and lifted that lady right up out of the boat. Well, you know, them large ladies is all flotation from the waist up. <laughs> I 
Well, she must have been all ballast from the waist down. Because she sunk right out of sight like a stone. Just left a little whirlpool in the water where she was. And Willie and me, we must have poked around for her for fully 15 minutes with the gaffs before we figured we'd done about as much as we could. And we headed for shore, and I can tell you that my wife was some upset when we told her what had happened. <laughs> but we tried to calm her down, but telling her that her mother'd be back up in another 10 days. <laughs> Well, sure enough, two weeks later it was, we was out hauling traps, had an awful hard time hauling one trap. We, we finally got it up over the rail there, and there was that large lady draped right over the top. And you know there must have been a good 12 dozen lobsters all muckled right onto us. <laughs> Well, says Willie, what are we going to do with her? I says, I don't know. But what with the poverty of the fish in, I said, I think we'd better peg them lobsters and set her again. LAUGHTER